All right, everyone, now we get to talk about how YouTube wants to devolve further into being nothing more than a mainstream, lamestream echo chamber. It's funny because there are still people who will shitpost about how I'm wrong about being shadow banned when I can literally point to an article from last week where YouTube's own blog post explicitly uh, brags about the fact that they're driving content to MSM authoritative sources, thus screwing any independent creator that covers current events. Literally doesn't matter. If you're not whitelisted explicitly by YouTube, and trust me, you're not, then you're being abused by the algorithm if you talk about any permutation of news, politics, current events, and even in the, the non-political sense, or socio, uh, social issues, anything like that, uh, you get fucked. Now they're saying, well, uh, we've done a lot to suppress misinformation, ba basically to suppress political and, and social ideas that YouTube doesn't like. Now keep in mind, YouTube is a multi-billion dollar entity, sub-owned by a multi-billion dollar entity, sub-owned by, if I remember correctly, a trillion dollar entity, a multinational corporation with assets all around the world. What do you think they prefer for political systems? Neoliberalism, the old establishment, globalism, people who want to abuse you. They, of course they want to be able to exploit labor in other countries. They're fucking corporation. Don't even blame them. Profit motive is a wonderful thing. It's just that they're not operating under the proper terms of what a platform should be. YouTube is incepted as a platform, and it makes all of its money on content other people are making. Well, it's about time that it fucking act like one, act like a neutral carrier. There's no reason to algorithmically throttle. Now they're saying they're going to start going after material that gets too many views from referral sites. Now, what does this mean? Essentially, it means that if your videos are getting, on YouTube, the, the YouTube post, is getting too much flow from, say, hmm, I wonder hmm, what sites could be, oh, Gab, <laughs> Parler? You mean sites that people are using to get around the algorithmic abuse you're heaping on them by making sure their audience can be notified of their uploads? Yeah, I think it might be those sites. I highly doubt that it'll be Facebook because Zuckerberg is stacked as part of a vertical monopoly along with Google at this point in a completely non-competitive trust-like situation where he's more than willing to go along with it. Have you ever noticed how common it is that a mainline creator with a significant audience who's on the edgy side or, or you know, rails against corporate censorship gets banned off of multiple mainline tech firms uh, platforms at once? Have you noticed the correlation? Malnu is a great example. He gets kicked off YouTube. He's off Twitter within a week. Do you think there might be a little bit of vertical monopolization going on when corporations that are supposed to be competing with each other in a supposedly capitalistic free market appear to be colluding? And if they're not colluding, then they're getting goaded by a bunch of craptivists. I don't know which one is worse. So now they're saying, essentially, if they've got you on the naughty list, you're not mainstream enough. You know, you don't work for Fox or CNN, but you persist in talking about news. You're a bad person. We're not going to let you have a channel, or we're going to remove the video, or we're going to demote you further because we notice that you're still getting a decent amount of play. If you are not already subscribed to me, for example, on YouTube, sometimes it's difficult to find my material. The, the fact is that if you're covering current events, here's, here's how the, the shadow ban works in my case. If you are trying to look up current news and you can't find my videos because they are automatically behind a wall of priority creators from the MSM because YouTube has chosen to promote them, by default, I am being demoted. Within a couple of days, it's no longer current. So for someone who focuses on that kind of material to be demoted in such a manner essentially drains every bit of vitality out of their channel that doesn't come from their native audience. But native audiences, if they are not growing, inevitably shrink because people close accounts. People get banned by YouTube. People unsubscribe. They unclutter their notifications and stuff because they get overwhelmed. It's, it's natural. So when I'm slowly dwindling in sub count, and when I'm making half as many views on YouTube as before, I wonder why that could possibly be the case. Ironically, it doesn't happen for COVID videos. I'm not sure how their algorithms work, and sometimes I don't think fucking YouTube is uh, sure either. It doesn't seem to matter what you do. Now, the quartering has an, uh, an interesting anecdote that he put out, actually. Somebody said this on Happy Homelands two days ago, and the quartering, I messaged him, he confirmed, in his case, it seems to work. Uh, deleting all your live streams, apparently, can help. The problem is, nah, I have to make a whole new fucking channel just to do live streams? I guess at least I can take slow mode off of 300 seconds at that point because I'll have half as many viewers. So maybe there'll be a clank show or something, clanking in the morning, or the Sticks Hexenhammer show has its own channel. We'll see if that works. Uh, I'm, I'm doubtful though, I think I'm just on an audio list. 
I make content about current events, ergo, because my competitors are explicitly endorsed by YouTube and pushed ahead in related videos, trending, and search to the exclusion of any independent content, well, no shit, you're going to get fewer views. I remember I used to be at the top of every list just because I had the most audience engagement. I thought it was great. You know, so YouTube has decided to be them tube at this point. It's, it's not really you, it's just tube. It's TV 2.0 at this point. It's fucking lame. And they're going to destroy their own site, by the way. Good luck recruiting new users, dude. If, if you are precluding anyone who has an interest in news and politics and stuff, it's a huge proportion of the user base, by the way. If you're precluding them from gaining traction, and they say, hey, I've been on YouTube for a year, i got 10 subscribers. Why can't I make it? I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Guess what? The first time that someone mentions alt tech to them and they find that they've got 100,000 subscribers, they're going to leave YouTube. YouTube is setting itself up for failure because it's got the last generation of talent all have YouTube channels. The new generation, I know a lot of people that don't. I know a hell of a lot of talented creators that put a great deal of effort into their work that don't really use YouTube. If anything, they use YouTube to popularize their other presences. Kind of what I'm doing at times uh, at, at the moment. First video of every day, I remind people, hey, you know, the deck is definitely stacked against me. You can share out uh, my shit on YouTube, but preferably you can just watch me elsewhere where you can actually be notified. I realize there's no alt tech alternative that's perfect, but <laughs> anything's better than being, being literally abused by the, the site you've been on for a decade. In my, in my case, 12 years on YouTube. Um, but this is just another layer of abuse. They've been steadily uh, amping it up. We've got three adpocalypses. We've got limited state, we've got the purging, we copyright purges, which are massively misused, by the way, by third parties, knowing full well there are no legal repercussions as long as the person isn't willing to, to, to go literally to their state to fucking sue them and spend thousands of dollars fucking litigating, sending subpoenas to YouTube just to get the person that flagged the video improperly as a form of de facto defamation, by the way, I think that that should be actionable. What I would say here is YouTube is screwing itself. Partially un under pressure from social justice warriors, but it's formed a vertical monopoly, and now it's openly bragging about wanting to be more of an echo chamber. Well, you know, Fox News and CNN, they're still having problems. You know, they're having problems for a reason, YouTube. People explicitly started using sites like YouTube to get away from that content. Nobody wants to watch them. Half the time they shut their comments off. YouTube's going after those now, too. So, oh my god, you've got too many edgy co comments on the video, so we're going to shut your comment sections down. At first they were doing that for people they thought were under 18, and it's like, okay, well that takes care of the freaks and weirdos. Now they'll do it to adults too. Your comment section's too edgy. They've, I mean, at what point is YouTube useless? I hate to say it, but at some point it is no longer useful for generating an audience. You know, behind five or six layers of suppression, What's the point in continuing to invest considerable resources and not just saying, hey, you know, I'll have some videos on YouTube, but most of the good stuff has to be elsewhere. Dude, I'm almost at 120,000 subscribers on BitChute alone. I get 50, 60,000 video, uh, video views there a day. It's not far behind where I was in 2016 on YouTube over the course of less than three years. Why the hell wouldn't I prioritize that? Why wouldn't I prioritize a place like Odyssey or a place like Rumble where I've got a five-figure audience getting hundreds or thousands of views per video, uh, even without linking it out? Now YouTube's saying, well, we're going to abuse it. Basically, YouTube is saying, hey, sticks, hex, and hammer. Uh, we know that we've buried you behind MSM content. So the only way people can even be notified that you exist is if you use third-party sites because we don't notify them. Half the time, uh, we just randomly unsubscribe people. Little by little, bit by bit by day. And I'm sure the algorithm just goes through and randomly weeds a few people out here and there. We're not allowing you to appear in search or related videos unless someone knows verbatim your content or is subscribed. And by the way, if you're not subscribed to me, you see a different experience on YouTube when you search for my content. Try logging out of YouTube sometime using a different device and see what the difference is. Try that sometime if you don't believe that YouTube <laughs> distorts algorithms like it fucking openly brags. Anyway... Uh, so I have to use Gab or Parler. I put my stuff on Mimes. Used to use Facebook, but that's useless too now. Now they're saying, well, if too much of your audience, your uh, traffic's coming from these sites, we're going to start algorithmically throttling you more. Maybe they'll outright ban you. They haven't entirely made it clear. They're just musing about it at the moment. Well, I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe they'll ban me. Who fucking cares at this point? I guess it'll just mean a jump in subscribership on every other platform, so... 
Yeah, YouTube's trying hardest to make itself vestigial, and, and part of it is, I know, YouTube and Twitter and Facebook, they want 230 gone. These people want to get rid of 230. They've got AI systems. They can act as publishers now. They've got the technology. Their smaller competitors can't. <laughs> Essentially, if you lose 230 protections, all the smaller US-based sites, bye, they're gone. No more Rumble. Not gonna be able to uh, fend off that many lawsuits. Odyssey's gone. Subscribe, subscribe star probably goes under. Uh, it'd rip all tech apart. BitChute, ironically, based in the UK, would be the last one standing. That's the irony of it. It's a bunch of horseshit is what it is. It's a formerly great platform that's making too many mistakes. It's alienating too many of its users. The biggest thing, though, is the next generation of content creators. Not, not this generation. Not people from the 2000s like me or from the 2010s. People from the 2020s, they're not going to use YouTube as much. They're making TikTok videos. Why do you think they're using a Chinese spyware site? They, they, they stream on Facebook. Why do you think they would use even, even a heavily censored competitor? Because at least it's searchable. If you're algorithmically demoting people to this level, you're alienating every new user. They can't compete with MSM content because you've purposely buffed the MSM up. You've become what you once fought against and won against. YouTube has become its former competitors uh, 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 on-demand services. YouTube has become uh, essentially the next Hulu. That's about all. Peace out.